cracking everybody no video um tell you right now i'm not feeling good at all i have like an infection in the crown that i got last year and this is the second time it happened so last night man i got like maybe three hours of work um this morning first thing in the morning i went to the dentist and uh they gave me some antibiotics, some ibuprofen, and uh, they're referring me to a specialist. You know how they do it. Um, all I want to do is get in bed and just sleep, man. I can't eat. But I texted my boss and told him I couldn't come in. He didn't respond, so I'm probably just going to fucking drive to work and uh, see what's up. If his... Uh, non-responses for a reason but anyway so i wanted to make this video um you know a lot of in the past a lot of people were asking me about my tattoos and the, the meaning behind them and you know I, I don't i don't go into any of that stuff um i feel like that belongs in there i've said it before things that happen in there belong in there um, now and then I'll tell a story. Hopefully there's a meaning behind it. But that kind of stuff is no. Now, with that said. Um, yesterday my wife went shopping. Right? And when she came back, she asked me, Hey, babe, what does this tattoo mean when they have this? Right? When somebody has this on them. And I'm not going to go into what the tattoo was here. And I'm definitely not going to go into the meaning. I told my wife what it meant. But, you know, that's it's my wife. It's not for public uh, consumption. But here's the thing. There are tattoos that mean something, right? And unfortunately, people, youngsters... Will see somebody get out of the joint or see a picture or watch one of these shows and they'll see somebody with a specific tattoo and they're in their mind they think well uh i i'm i'm representing the same or whatever right but they they don't understand no you don't um uh, but they like the they like the they like the pattern they like the tattoo so they slap it on themselves because to them that dude was somebody that was down or whatever whatever their whatever their motivations are right and what they do not know and what most people won't tell them when they do go to jail especially the higher levels is first of all they're not going to be able there's certain tattoos that people get and i'm not going to go into which ones those are when they go to prison if they're lucky they will be allowed to cover those up right but then there's other ones the more fashionable ones that people get right and they don't understand that when they hit a yard and somebody sees that, they're going to know, especially if it's a youngster just coming in. He hasn't earned it, but he's going to have to. There's certain tattoos where, you know, you put them on you. You are obligated to fulfill um, a lot of duties that come with those tattoos and my wife the reason why I made this video was because my wife was like babe at Walmart there was this kid he was probably like 15 or 16 and he had this tattoo and she told me what it was I was just like well I'm sure he feels like it's cool now um, but goes to the joint 
He will be performing. You know? There is no, oh, hey, I got a visit, or hey, my high now. No, 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 no. People want to be fashionable on the streets, not realizing the baggage that comes with that fashion, because it ain't fashionable behind the walls. You know, you might think it looks cool out here and it's impressive to somebody out here that doesn't know any better. But when you get in there, people see certain tattoos. Okay. And this is with all the Rasa factions. There's certain tattoos. You got that? Okay. Let's see. You know. And it's uh And it's a damn shame because, like I said, they won't always be told. You know, you put something on you that doesn't belong to you. Um, and we're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to have to earn that repeatedly. You know, and that's when you have those situations where you have guys where, you know, they come in with the eight-year term, nine-year term. Maybe they get off a couple times and a lower level wind up in the shoe get out into a shoe kick out yard and uh that's where it happens you know i tell if i tell <laughs> i'll add a story before i go man there was this dude i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say where he was from and he didn't have a tattoo that was uh that put the spotlight on him. But he was one of them dudes that uh, we've all seen them. The models that are fat, but think they're swole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, motherfucker, you got you got 20 inch arms, the 50 inch waist. You fucking shitty me. But yeah, this so this is one of those guys. He 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 was fat, you know had like an eight hot dog pack on the back of his neck. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's, he just got there, right? This, this, is, this is a long, this is when I first started my time. And he's walking the yard and he's, whoa, he's all, and, and the thing was, I'm not gonna say where he's from, but his fucking nickname was Hitman. Ah, uh, and he used to hit the yard with his fucking boom, his murder one son, and he was boom, he was pushing, he was pushing. But, you know, like a lot of us that had that YA head start, we're very perceptive. We're watching how other people react to people. If you if you've been in YA, you know that you know the the you 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 do have a head start, man, and you know, you see something you can recognize it off the top, like, oh yeah, this dude's headed for something and so you watch older heads the ones would say so right and you watch them and i remember there was this older homie and this dude had major juice right big old fucking whip been down forever gang of shoe terms and he was sitting down on the yard boom and there goes hitman hitman was walking by and the OG with the big fucking brocha, he's watching him go by and he goes, like, oh, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> but I say maybe a week went by and I think they let that long go by to see if one of his homeboys would um, just give him some advice, some helpful advice. But I think the way he was conducting himself, his own homeboys were like, yeah, let him learn. So he got approached, right? Hey, I'm, I'm gonna at you real quick. And I was at the table that they called him to. Hey, I'm gonna at you. And uh, he comes up, boom, you know, chili dogs in the back of his neck, and he's fucking strolls over there 
Cholo out the game. Arr, arr. And he goes over and he's like, what's up, homies? And, you know, fellas are like, hey, uh, are you somebody around here or something? Who are you? Are you do, we, do we need to know, like, are you somebody? Like, we weren't made aware of it. And you see his eyes like, oh, shit. And he's like, oh, no. Nah. And they're like, no, because you walk around here like you own this. And if you do, let us know about that. And, uh, oh, my boss is texting me. Ciao. But anyways, back to the story. Um, and when they asked him, what do they call you, homie? And when he said hit, man, like, I know they wanted to die. But this is a point. This is there were being you know, kind to this dude, you know, they, I mean, I've seen verbals that were vicious, and this one was basically letting him know, you look stupid, you ain't hard, but if you want to be, there's work for you, right now, you know, and, uh, they should have named, changed his name on the spot, he should have told everybody after that, hey, what's up, homie, my name is Silent, because I don't want to talk at all around here, <laughs> Yeah, they let the air out of his balloon in a nice way, though. <sighs> but seriously, Rasa, don't get tattoos that look cool. Any tattoos that you put on your body, you should know what they mean. You should know if there's a definition to them. I'm sure you can even Google prison tattoos and get definitions so if you see something that looks cool don't i'm not saying google's gonna be right but i am saying be safe rather than sorry you know what i'm saying um i know when everybody's 13 14 15 20 21 20 you know there's you believe you're invincible But none of us are, you know. So I just wanted to put this video out real quick and um, just remind guys, man. Tattoos that are fashionable are not fashionable behind the wall. So with that, I'm out, man. Take care. Be cool.